Hi pearls! Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I'll be sharing with you how to turn a TikTok into a Roblox animation. A few months ago, I turned one of Charlie's TikToks into an animation. I'll show that on the screen right now and I thought why not make a tutorial because someone else might want to know how to do it too. So yeah, before we get started, I would recommend watching my animation tutorial and GFX tutorial for Blender 2.8 because it will help you understand the basics of Blender and animating a bit more. I will be explaining everything in this video, but if you get stuck and want a more in-depth explanation then those tutorials should help you out so anyways let's get started first of all you want to open up tiktok and then choose a tiktok you want to animate so i'm going to use one by emma chamberlain and then i'm going to save it by holding on it and then save video now it is saved then i'm going to airdrop this to my computer so we can start animating if you don't have a mac you can always email it to yourself and now we're going to head over to my computer for the next step Hi, I'm currently editing, but I just wanted to pop in to say that the first part of this video will be me explaining like the very basics of Blender and how to download it and also how to use Roblox Studio. So if you already know all of that and just want to skip to how to animate using a TikTok, then I will leave the timestamp right here so you can skip to there. But the first part will be me explaining how to download Blender, rigs, everything like that. So if you've never made an animation before, then you can just watch the entire thing because I'll be explaining all the basics. But if you already know a bit of the basics, then just skip to the time on the screen. So now it is time to start making the animation, but before we can do so, we need to get all the items for it i will warn you now this process does take a bit of time but in my opinion it's worth it because i think it looks pretty cool in the end but you want to find items in the roblox catalog that will match what your tiktoker is wearing if you don't want to put on the same outfit that the tiktoker is wearing that is totally fine just have fun with it as always but i'm using this messy bun for her hair and this is the creator right there and then i didn't find the exact same tank top there are probably a whole bunch of the ones that are the exact same out there but i couldn't find any so i'm just using this one then i'm going to use these jeans and and lastly, she had like sunglasses on her head, so I'm gonna use these, which are actually really cute. I really like those. <laughs> okay, anyways, but once you have those chosen, what we're gonna do is open up Roblox Studio. And once we're there, select the base plate option. If you don't know how to open up Roblox Studio or anything, I explained that in my 2.8 GFX tutorials. And then you are going to want to load in your avatar, Spawn R6. If you don't know how to do this, you wanna head over to plugins. You're gonna to need to get a plugin called Load Character, which you can get by opening up the toolbox. And if that's not automatically open for you, go to view and then toolbox, then change this to plugins. And then you're going to want to find the one called Load Character light and you can install it and then it should be in your plugins bar so i'm going to import my character right here i'm going to also open up the explore tab and i'm going to delete the accessories i don't need hair i don't need my butterflies i basically don't need any of this because emma has an entirely different outfit so i'm gonna go ahead and delete all of this so now i'm going to change the clothing which to do that find the item you want to use so i'm going to use this copy the link and then select the shirt underneath your character and then open up the properties tab then click shirt template and paste the link and then press enter and as you can see it is now on my character so i'm going to do the same thing for the pants copy the link go back to roblox studio click the pants file and then go back to properties paste it but bam <laughs> so now it's a bit more complicated to import the hair and other items so in the description i'm going to have something that you need to copy and it looks like this so you need to copy this code and then paste it in the bottom of your screen and if it's not there if this bar isn't open for you go to view and click command bar and then as you can see to get the asset id you want to head over to the item so in my case that is the blonde messy bun and instead of copying the entire link just copy this number then go to roblox studio and where it says asset id select that and paste in the number and then press enter i now have this hair all the way up here so i'm going to go to home and then use the move tool to place it on top of my character and you don't have to get it perfectly on top you can always change it in blender i'm gonna leave that there for now and i'll put everything together in blender so the other thing i need to import are of course the glasses so i'm going to again copy the number at the top of the link head back to roblox studio and then replace it in the code and press enter yet again my glasses will appear if you can't find it what i recommend doing is clicking on it on the side and press f and it will take you exactly to where the item is i know this is a long process i'm sorry obviously you don't have to make it like super accurate but that's basically all i need at least for me so now what i'm going to do is select the top of the item press shift and then click everything else you do not need to select the base plate or anything else in here then right click export selection give it a name i'm just going to call this emma recreation i'm going to save mine to my desktop but save yours to whoever you want to save it and then press save i'm going to leave this linked in the description and i'm very sorry there's going to be so many links in the description click download blender so once you have that what you're going to want to do is download one more thing um and that is a rig so 
A rig is basically like a, a base for your avatar and it makes your animations a much smoother and a lot more easier to make. So I will leave those links in the description. I'm not going to go over them because I've already done that in my GFX tutorial. So if you're confused with how to download that, it'll be there. But make sure when you're on the website downloading them that you only press download button in the right side because there are going to be a bunch of ads which you should not click because you do not want to download anything bad. So make sure you just press the download button in the top. Again, if you're confused, my tutorial explains how to do it. But anyways, what you want to do is open up Blender. So once you open up Blender, this will pop up on your screen. Just click anywhere on the screen to get rid of it. And then we want to open up our rig. So go to File, Open, and then go to your downloads and find your rig. I'm using the woman rig, so mine will say Roblox rig underscore woman. Then I'm going to open up that folder, click Rig, and then Default Blend. Now mine is pink. Yours will probably be like gray, but either way, it will work the same. So I'm going to start off by deleting the head. Now, in case you don't know how to use the basics of Blender, you want to press Shift, and I think it's called the tildes. I'll put it on the screen and you can use that and then ASWD or the arrows to move. You can use Q and E to go up and down and then you can just use your mouse to look around. So I'm going to go into the face and if I press B, I can have this little box thing which I can click and drag to select multiple things. So I can select the entire face and then press X to delete it. We do not need it for this. And then I'm going to click on one of the limbs and find this box at the bottom and change it to shader editor. This looks kind of confusing but all you have to do is find this orange box that says texture and press the little folder go to your desktop or wherever you saved your file to and then find your avatar's name double click it and then head back to the 3d viewport now that i have the texture open i'm going to press file import and wavefront.obj head over to my desktop again and find the file that we named all the objects that we exported from roblox studio so mine was called emma recreation i'm going to click it and then over here you'll see a little thing called geometry press the triangle next to it and click split by group and unclick split by object and then press import obj at the bottom so now everything will be imported and what i'm going to do is go to object at the bottom set origin and origin to geometry and this will just help when moving things and at the bottom there are four circles i'm going to press this third one right here called material so give it a second to load and my rig is also eating up the other object so i'm going to use the move tool at the top to just move that out of the way for now and then i'm going to rotate my rig but if yours is in the right position already then you can just leave it then we just need to set up a few things before we're able to start animating. So I'm going to select one of the limbs, not on the rig, but on the character we export from Blender. And I'm going to use shift and then left click to delete all the limbs except for the head. So press X to delete. And then I'm going to add my hair onto my head by using the move tool, just like that. And then I'm also going to put the sunglasses on top of her head. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to use shift again and i'm going to select the hair the sunglasses and the face and then click object at the bottom and select and select join and this will just make it one object which in my opinion i find it easier to work with and so now what you're going to want to do is go to your downloads and find the tiktok we save to our computer and you just want to drag it into blender now it will show up in blender which i think is kind of cool <laughs> i'm gonna set object set origin origin to geometry and i'm just gonna move this over here so now that we have that what i'm gonna do is add a camera i'm gonna press shift and a and then i'm gonna go to camera view cameras active camera but this is not the size for tiktok now you can leave it at this size but i'm gonna go this like printer button on the side and change it to be 1080 by 1920 so now we can set up the animation first up is to figure out where your animation starts mine starts at frame zero but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna have it start at frame 80 so i'm gonna type that in right here yours will probably start at one but I just don't want this video to be too long, so we're gonna have it start at frame 80. I'm just gonna have mine stop at 100 when I play. It will just be that for this video. Now what we're gonna do is actually start animating. <laughs> You're gonna wanna click this circle right here, and that means we have started. So I'm gonna go from pose mode into object mode, and this is how I move everything. So as you can see, I have the starting position. The wrists are a bit weird, <laughs> but I'm gonna go with it. Once I have everything positioned, I'm gonna skip ahead five frames. So I can use my arrow keys, go one, two, three, four, five. You can go every five frames but if your tiktok is a bit slower then maybe you could do like every seven frames every 10 frames so i'm gonna go ahead and now position the limbs as like how they look in the tiktok if that makes any sense this is outwards more and the head is gonna turn this way so as you can see i'm basically just trying to recreate the positioning as best as possible and i'm gonna go ahead and skip five more frames so one two three four five also for this part i do recommend being in pose mode when you're positioning the rig because otherwise you can't move the individual wires this elbow is gonna go upwards and this is gonna go downwards and we're gonna go to the last five and then i'm just gonna turn this 
just inwards a bit more, position it how I think it should go. I think that's good. So now if I click play, I can see that my character is moving. Something to keep in mind is this is Roblox and so you can't really move the same with a rig as you can as a real person obviously. You can also add more details to the background but I'm just gonna leave it how it is because I don't mind it. So to add a background you want to press shift and a at the same time and then where it says mesh add a plane and it will be right here so I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Using s I can scale it up and make it bigger and I'm gonna place it behind my character so when i go into my camera it should cover the entire thing and of course this is optional if you don't want to add a background you don't have to but i just think it looks nicer and then i'm going to head over to this little material tab now this will most likely be in the bottom bar but for some reason it wasn't showing up here for me so mine is right here but you're going to want to look for this circle in the sidebar and press new and then i'm going to scroll down to base color and I can give it any color I want. So I think I'm gonna go for a light blue. Now heading over to this camera, there should be an option that says render engine and yours will probably be in cycles render. I recommend changing it to Eevee because that will render it so much faster. You can use cycles if you want, but that does mean that it will take hours to render. I wanna get this video uploaded sooner than later. So I'm just gonna render an Eevee. And here, if I click the last ball, I can see what it looks like. Now it does look quite dark. So heading to this globe icon, use an HDRI. Now, I will leave the one that I use linked in the description. All you have to do is go to the website and then download it in the 4K version. Again, if you're confused, that's all explained in my GFX tutorial. But I'm gonna click use nodes. And then where it says color, I'm gonna change it to environment texture. And then press open. And the one I use and will have linked in the description is the one called Kloppenheim? Kloppenheim? I don't know. So anyways, and that just makes it slightly better quality and also a lot brighter. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is head to the printer and then scroll down and you will see this. So first of all, where it says FFmpeg video, I'm going to change this to an AVI JPEG. There should be a little folder next to a line that says TMP. So I'm going to click that folder and choose a place to save the animation. So I have a folder on my desktop called save gfx's and that is where i save all of my animations so i'm just going to save it to there and now i have it saved so now what i'm going to do is go to the top press render and then render animation this little window will pop up and as you can see the first frame has shown up here so now i'm going to go ahead and let this render and i'll show you what to do next but bam, here is the entire product. It is a bit short, but I only did a small portion of the animation for this tutorial. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully it helped you guys out. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, as I would really appreciate that. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and with that all being said, I will talk to you all soon. Bye, pearls! <laughs>